As people journey through life, they pause to assess their strengths and weaknesses for reaching their destinations. Ezra understood that many obstacles could arise and hinder them on their journey. He realized that if they were to have safe passage, it would only happen with the help of God. He called upon the children of Israel to fast with him to seek God. In today's passage, Ezra moves from a prophetic role to a leadership role. After he bragged about having God's protection, he led the people in prayer and fasting to ensure it in their return to their homeland. Typically, the Persians would have provided military escort for Ezra, as they were carrying with them monetary contributions made by the Persians. Apparently, however, the Persian king had been convinced of God's protection for the returning exiles, and that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, So we fasted and earnestly prayed that our God would take care of us, and he heard our prayer. Ezra chapter 8, verse 23. Ezra was forced to put his faith to the test after proclaiming the power of the Lord before the king. He felt ashamed to ask for military security for their dangerous journey, and rightfully so. To ask for protection would have brought the appearance of hypocrisy upon Ezra and the people of God. This also would not have provided an avenue where their faith in God and his divine authority could be witnessed. People would have perceived the Lord as a weak God with cowardly followers. For the most part, what Ezra said was completely correct and could have very well been led by the Spirit of God in proclaiming these statements. There are many occasions in our lives where the Spirit will lead us into physical situations where our faith will be tested. Whether Ezra was aware or not, he provided a powerful witness for all to follow. Sincere dedication to prayer and fasting will allow those participants to have direct communication with God. When one submits in humility to the Lord, seeking forgiveness and guidance, God tells us, My eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer offered and he will answer their prayers because they trusted in him. The Lord waits for opportunities such as these. This is not so that he can simply flaunt his power among those on the earth. On the contrary, when individuals and communities seek him and trust in him, they gain the opportunity to benefit from these situations. God desires the hearts and minds of humans submitted in humility and relying totally on his loving protection of them. God hears and attends to those who seek him with a sincere heart and mind. Ezra was aware of this and knew that fasting and prayer would entice the intention of the Lord, because he desires this. Ezra 8.23 contains two key words related to this idea. Besought means requested or desired, and entreated means entreated, prayed, pleaded, made supplication. How many of us? after prayer and fasting, come to the conclusion that God has sincerely listened to us? And how many of us have sought God's attention and help with a sincere and humble heart? So here's our lesson. As we go through life, we learn that we will face things where a solution is not readily apparent. There may not be a perfect example in the Bible for us to follow in our particular situations. Often these answers are obtained through fasting and prayer. In these instances, God affords us the opportunity to still have access to him to help lead us through those areas in life. Once God begins to work in our lives, it's important that we share with others his many miracles and blessings. We should understand that others will gain faith in what God can do by our testimonies. We may have a path imagined for our lives, but only God knows what lies ahead and can direct us safely through. God awaits the call and plea of his children, wanting his guidance to be yet another demonstration of his mighty effect on their lives. So, let's set aside a few days for fasting and prayer over a situation in our life that we know only God can deliver or supply the need. If, ye, if we don't have a need or anything at this time, maybe think about a family member, friend, co-worker, etc., for whom your testimony about God's guidance will provide support during their time of questioning.